Hey guys, so if you saw the uh, Chuck Carmen Bobblehead unboxing video and the Chris Sabo Bobblehead unboxing video, you will realize that this is part three of my trifecta of Reds Hall of Fame and Museum Bobblehead unboxing videos. The bobbleheads I got from my visit to the Reds Hall of Fame when I signed up for a membership on Friday, May 4th. This is the final bobblehead unboxing video for that trip, so let's just hop right into it and unbox this thing and see how it looks. It is of Ernie Lombardi, the legendary Red who went on to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. You can see what the bobblehead looks like right there. It's got the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum logo in the top corner. Uh, this side's got his Reds Hall of Fame plaque and what his signature looks like on the bottom. I'm guessing that's what his signature looks like because um, he played in the uh, 30s and 40s long before I was around. And then here is what the back of the box looks like. Has the perks of being a Red Hall of Fame museum member. Uh, this side has a picture of Lombardi as well as a little blurb about his Reds career. The bottom says plain and tan, and the top says Dinsmore with striped pattern below that Dinsmore logo. Now Lombardi, uh, if you've ever been to my website, I've written posts of Bobheads I think that the Red Hall of Fame and Museum should have given out. Or the ones I want them to give out, and Lombardi is on that list, so I am ecstatic that they finally, looks like they finally read my website and uh, decided to deliver with the Lombardi bobblehead, which I'm very, very happy about. He was on the uh, 39 and 40 pennant winning championship teams, a member of that 1940 World Series championship team, as a matter of fact. And they asked get this bobblehead out. I think they, he was, if I read the back of the box correctly, he was the first Red to ever win a uh, MVP award, which is pretty cool. It's just got a little baseball bat. Looks like we screwed that into his hands right there. There we go. Let me pick off some of the glue. There we go. Looks good. We got a bobblehead of Ernie Lombardi, player from the 30s and 40s. And like the uh, Chuck Harmon bobblehead and the Joe Knoxville bobblehead of 2004, this one features the navy blue look um, with the uniforms. You can see his hat, navy blue, with the uh, red C and the red bill. Um, it's got his big smiling face right there, his name on the base in white letters with the Dinsmore plaque. Top says Reds Hall of Fame with the metallic look. Um, the front, got the uh, Reds logo right there. At the back has his number. Right there, number 35. And yeah, really good looking bobblehead. Um, this is an AGP bobblehead, as you can see by the gold sticker on the bottom of the base. Um, I like AGP bobbleheads, I think they look really good. And yeah, this one's bobbling really well too. So, Ernie Lombardi, bobblehead I've been wanting for a long time for the Reds, or the Reds Hall of Fame to make. Reds Hall of Fame delivered, and I wish they would do more bobbleheads of the Reds from like 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. The Reds of yesteryear. I mean, they usually do Reds of yesteryear, but I'm talking about like from way back in the day. Um, they're, do, do, they're doing a Johnny Vandiver next month, which I think is fantastic. Only pitcher in Reds history and in Major League Baseball history to throw back-to-back -back consecutive no-hitters. Um, I think he's the only pitcher. And this one's going to be a dual bobblehead, the first dual Reds Hall of Fame Museum bobblehead. I saw a picture of it. Looks awesome. Cannot wait to get that one. And I think after that, it's going to be Adam Dunn. I'm not going to get that one because I already have an Adam Dunn bobblehead. And then Tom Browning when he was sitting on the roof at Wrigley Field. That one actually sounds really cool, so I might have to get that one despite already having a Tom Browning bobblehead in my collection. And then I think the last one for the uh, season is of Johnny Bench, another Johnny Bench bobblehead. They've given out more, the Reds and Reds Hall of Fame have given out more Johnny Bench bobbleheads, I think, than um, any other player in Reds history at this point. They gave out he had his own line in 2011. The Reds have given out, I want to say, two Johnny Bench bobbleheads by themselves. And then, so I think maybe it's like eight. It was be number nine or number ten. I don't know. There's too many Johnny Bench bobbleheads to count, but I will not be getting that one. Um, so as of now, the only last two Reds Hall of Fame Museum bobbleheads I plan on getting, Vandermeer and the Tom Browning on the roof at Wrigley Field. And yeah, so that was the uh, Ernie Lombardi bobblehead. One more look at it. Looks really good. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Give me a follow on Twitter, and check out my website, it's fanzone.blogspot.com. Links to both of those are in the description below. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.